All right, Buffalo, welcome back. And we are here with some more GM mode. We got the trade deadline lurking upon us. And I took the time to just kind of do some things off video. I found a couple trades that I'm willing to do. I'm going to show you the big one that I, I've been planning up. So we plan on the top five players that we plan on getting rid of. Craig Anderson, Gergeson, Sheehan, Okpozo, and Ilya Labushkin. So this is a trade that I cooked up. Uh, that I was just looking at here. So it is to send uh, Gergensen and Ilya Labushkin off to the Rangers, who at the time are have a great record. They're looking to make the playoffs, and they're looking to get rid of this, de this defenseman prospect for them, 21 years of age, 77 overall already. He has a potential to be a top four defenseman, medium top four defenseman. In 37 games played, three goals, 15 assists, 10 penalty minutes, and a minus one, which isn't too bad. Now looking here is what I really like is the superstar abilities that he has. Quick pick, yoink, tape to tape, and heat seeker. Now, this could potentially go through. We are going to have to retain Ilya Labushkin, which is fine. I think we only have him locked up for a year. So we'll retain 50% of it, which I'm 100% okay with. Um... And he has a he has two years left, so we'd be retaining it for two years. It says we're gonna be under the league uh, cap, so maybe we won't retain. Ooh, okay, hold on, give me a second here. It says we're gonna be under the cap. Buffalo would be under the league minimum cap. So is there someone that we can take from the Rangers, low trade value, that has a lot of cap? Maybe a Ryan Reeves and something like this could potentially go through. So this is a trade that we would be looking for at the trade deadline. Get rid of Gergeson, get rid of Labushkin. Now, in terms of Craig Anderson, in terms of uh, Sheehan and Okposo, these guys are going to get us draft picks for this year. That's all it's going to be. But this is a one big blockbuster. Not really a blockbuster, but uh, uh, something that I'm, I'm willing to take a run at. 21 years old. 77 overall already. He'd be playing some good minutes. Well, now with that being said, uh, with that being said, we have some pretty good defensemen. Now, where exactly would he line up, right? So we're getting rid of Ilya Labushkin. Uh, we have Rasmus Dahlin, Owen Power, Yoki Haru, Clegg. Like he would fit in there, not too bad. We got Bryson, we got Samuelson, some decent little players here. So this is a trade that I'm really liking. I had some other ones on the board here. Another player that I was looking at over in Colorado. Um, same sort of deal here um let me just try to look for him uh doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah but bocage uh right winger 21 years old 69 overall has quick pick has yoink not a bad looking player hasn't really played much this year played five games with colorado uh last year playing 40 games 12 points in 40 games uh, I'm, I'm still liking robertson over him and then we were looking at another trade uh, over in Washington, uh, another rookie skater as well, Alexiev, 77 overall, 23 years old, another defenseman, uh, similar to um, Robertson. Robertson has the superstar abilities, which I'd rather go after. So it looks like that's the one and only deal we're looking to make at the trade deadline. Obviously, other ones being for draft picks and looking away uh and looking to ship off craig anderson sheehan and okposo who is our captain right now but i don't see us signing him after the year and if we do we can just look at him in free agency or maybe we just hang on to him um and see what we can sign him back for next year all right now with that being said we are just going to simulate the last month and uh we are heading up to the trade deadline so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the trade deadline in this video uh we're gonna pretty much just simulate the whole season and sim up to the draft and then next video will be when the draft comes back now starting off this video henry yokiharu is going to be injured with a sore shoulder until february 12th so that is not ideal but it is okay like i said we are trying to tank so everyone's going to go up a line and do we have a defenseman that's scratched no we do not so let me go to roster moves we're gonna have to call up a defenseman we probably should just keep up a defenseman since we have just so many injuries on the back end we'll call up uh pilute uh hopefully i'm saying these names right man i'm so bad with pronouncing some of these last names so i apologize in advance so again labushkin up one clegg up one and then we will be bringing in pew and that looks good to me all right so that's that let's continue the sim here uh rasmus is available so we'll just continue let a couple days pass uh we will do continue there as well 
Yoki Haru's back. So with that being said, we'll bring in Rasmus Dahlin back. I don't think we want to bring in Yoki Haru back just yet. So let me do this real quick. Uh, ooh, not Yoki Haru. We're going to bring in Dahlin, which means we will be taking out probably Bright. Like, who, who do we take out? I think it's going to be maybe Samuelson for the time being. Uh, so let's do that. Samuelson, is he on a two-way? So we can send him back. He's on a one-way. Is Bryson on a two-way? He's on a one-way as well. So we're going to have to scratch both of these guys, or at least one of them. Darlene's back. We're going to wait on uh, Henry Yoki Haru. Uh, the Flames have uh, fired their coach. We're winning games again after bringing in Rasmus Darlene. Uh, Yoki Haru should be good to play, so let's throw him back into the lineup as well. Uh, so everyone's going to pretty much just move down a line and Henry Yokiharu is back into the lineup and we will continue the sim just like that. So our, our top pairing is back and healthy and ready to go, um, days or weeks prior to the trade deadline. Uh, but we're not looking to ship off either or of those guys. All right. So we get a trade coming in and okay. Interesting. Boo Cage was one of the guys that we were looking at and we were going to get rid of Gergesen and Labushkin. Now, they won our third round pick, a 2020, 2024, 2024, and we're going to get back their fourth. We're going to give up Riley Sheehan, who is a player that we are looking to get rid of. And in exchange, we're bringing in Bukage. Now, I did like this kid, 21 years old, right winger. Uh, he's a potential, a low potential being a top nine forward. So is he someone we're willing to take a risk on? I'm not too sure. Uh, some decent X factors. He could be a decent little fourth liner. Is he worth getting rid of a third round pick? I, I don't know if he's worth getting rid of a third round pick for next year, especially. Uh, that could be a pick that we can use next year in a potential trade. We would be getting a fourth rounder back, which isn't too bad. Riley Sheehan, could we get more than just a fourth round pick back for him? Probably not. Like the highest pick we could probably get for him is probably a third round pick of this year. I think I might pass on this. I know I was looking at this kid. But man, a low top nine forward. He does have those synergies, but I don't think it's someone we're willing to take a risk on. So you know what? We're going to exit out of that. We could probably get a third rounder, which is what I'm like, especially for this year, is something that I'm looking forward to. So the trade deadline is coming up. We'll sim to a day before and just kind of look where this team is at. We are 27, 26, and 8. We're still in seven, or seventh uh, place in the Atlantic. And the whole NHL... You know, we we are bottom 10, which is good. So, another thing was, I was looking at Jeff Skinner. Now, is he a contract that, or is he a player that I want to unload at the deadline this time around? I don't think so. Um, I know his contract's not the greatest. Five years at 9.6. I say we give him one more year, and if the team tanks next year as well, maybe he's someone we're willing to give up. Uh, but for the time being, I think uh, Skinner's a guy we're going to keep. So, the one trade that we are for sure making for a prospect is Gerg and Labushkin for Robertson and, and Reeves. So uh, we are going to head into the trade deadline. We are going to be sellers. I think we're going to be conservative sellers because um, we're not looking to sell too much. Uh, so here we are. We are a conservative seller. Enter trade deadline. Let's see who are the big players on the board. So it is Pulak. It is Spurgeon. It is Tyler Bertuzzi, John Klingberg, Ryan Ellis. All right, so some decent names out there. Um, all right, so let's go make our trade right away and let's see if this goes through. So again, it is going to be Gergensen, which will be right here. It's going to be Gergensen and it is going to be Ilya Labushkin. And we are going to be shipping them off to the Rangers. We have a trade alert. The Minnesota Wild are trading Ryan Herman and Golagossi to the Knights in exchange for a second, a third, and Hemmerling. All right, so not, not a big blockbuster trade there, but just depth trade. So the Rangers, we're looking for Robertson. We are looking for Ryan Reeves as well. He is right over here. And we are going to retain Ilya Labushkin's salary. And we got another trade alert coming here as the Arizona Coyotes are trading Troy Stetcher, a third rounder, and a fit uh, to the Canucks for a fifth rounder and a second rounder. All right, so this is a trade we're looking to make: Gergensen, Labushkin for Ryan Reeves and Robertson. Let's see if it goes through, and it is rejected. Okay, so they're not a fan of it, which I totally understand. Now, 
who who are players that are matching the block that they potentially want here okay so someone that we're willing to give up essentially with a little bit of trade value Kyle Ocposo could be one of those guys uh, Sheehan we need someone with low cap as well maybe a Riley Sheehan see if that potentially goes through Sheehan Labushkin and Gergensen for Robertson and Reeves and the trade is accepted all right so maybe we overpaid a little bit we could have maybe got a draft pick in there but the one trade that we wanted to make is done and over with so a good prospect in Robertson coming back our way now Craig Anderson I do want to get rid of him I do want to bring up UPL and um, just kind of have him have the net for the rest of the season so Craig Anderson who is interested in Craig Anderson uh, it is looking like he may just be okay Nashville's looking for them they have a decent record uh, someone with a worse record who wants Craig Anderson looks like it's just gonna be Vancouver okay and the Caps all right so it looks like Vancouver has one of the worst records out here out of those teams we got a trade coming in Ooh, a s two seconds for Josh Norris okay interesting all right so we have two second round picks from 2023 is that a glitch do we actually have two second overall picks? Okay, so Buffalo and Vegas is second round picks. For Josh Norris, who is having a decent year. Second line forward. Uh, no no X factors. Eight years of seven, nine, almost eight. I don't know. We're trying to draft right now. We're trying to draft. Josh Norris is 23, which is the good news. Do we want to get rid of two second round picks? Now looking at our draft picks, we will still have a second round pick in Phillies. We don't have a third for this year, which we can try and go and acquire. We have a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh. Are we willing to give up two seconds for Josh Norris? That's the question. He's 23, top six forward, medium. Uh, he would fit into this team on the forward line three and penalty kill line two. Uh, we are looking to bring in a new coach next year. I don't know. This is kind of a deal where it's like I'm kind of interested in it, but at the same time, is given two second overall picks too much for Josh Norris? And it's an eight year contract at eight mil. Will this contract bite us in the butt? I, I, man, we might have to decline this. We might have to decline this. I'm going to keep our second round picks and hope that drafting really just works out in our favor. Okay, so back to what we were doing it was Craig Anderson. Going to Vancouver. I don't know what kind of draft pick we can get for him here. Maybe if we can try to snag a sixth overall pick. Vancouver would have more. Okay, so Vancouver is not going to work. Um, maybe we will try Winnipeg. We can get a seventh rounder for him. We got another trade here. St. Louis is trading Nola Chari and a couple picks to Columbus for Bemstrom and a second rounder. All right, so let's see if this goes through. All right, Craig Anderson is off to Winnipeg as we get a seventh round pick there. So that is Gergensen, that is Anderson, that is Labushkin gone, uh, and Sheehan is gone as well. So uh, really the only other player we're looking to get rid of is Kyle Lockposo, and I'm kind of keen to just keeping him and seeing what he wants come the offseason. Okay, Winnipeg making another trade. They're trading a second rounder, a fourth rounder, and Wagner to the Islanders in exchange for Scott Mayfield and a third rounder as long <laughs> wow, and Zach Parise as well. Okay, so it looks like the moves that we were looking to make are done, all right? We brought in that, bro that prospect in Robertson who we were really looking to bring in. Uh, he was a, a rookie that I was really just looking at and actually really just uh, liking as well. So Robertson, 77 overall. He's going to be playing with these guys. Um, and UPL as well will be coming in and playing full time. Detroit's trading the Dalkovich to Chicago for a third and two thirds. Okay, wow, interesting. Uh, but like I said, UPL is going to get the net uh, for the remainder of the season. Play some NHL games. Has he played any NHL games? So he has. Uh, he went two five and three nine sixteen save percentage, which isn't too bad. So he's going to be playing some NHL times uh, time games. Uh, with that being said, trade deadline is pretty much done for us. I'm going to sit here. If there's any blockbuster trades, I will bring them up quickly before we go. Edmonton's making a trade, sending a third and a fourth, and Matias Yamark to the Dallas Stars 
in exchange, in exchange for Stan Stankovic and Ertl. All right. So if there's any blockbusters, we will come back. Uh, power of uh, editing. All right. Colorado has made a trade. Arturi Lekanen and a six-round pick to the Islanders in exchange for Semyon Varlamov and Ledeu. All right. That's an interesting little trade there. Colorado making another trade. They're trading Gorgiev and Olison as long uh, with a fifth round pick to Detroit in exchange for Tyler Bertuzzi and Sunquist. Oh my God, that is a blockbuster trade. Let's go look at that one. I need to break that one down real quick. So Tyler Bertuzzi and Oscar Sunquist are Colorado Avalanche uh, as Gorgiev, Olison, and a fifth round pick is going back in return. Um, I want to say Colorado won that trade and my God, Joe Sackick is, uh, he's, he's pulling off some magic. Once again, Colorado's looking to go back to back this year. Incoming trade alert. Okay. All right. Another interesting trade are two seconds again, one from this year, one from next year and Bork for a third and Jonas Brodeen. Okay. So here's my thing. We don't really need defensemen. We need, we need offense. This isn't a trade that I'm really interested in. Um, not not to say that it's bad, but we have a pretty decent defensive core. We traded for a defensive prospect. We're looking for offensive players. I'm kind of thinking we should have accepted that trade when Josh Norris was on the board from Ottawa. The Maple Leafs are making a deal as they're sending Kokanen and a third round pick to Los Angeles in exchange for a third, Edler, and a sixth round pick. So... Toronto getting some veteran defense uh, back there, which they desperately need. Good trade. Carolina making a trade here with just over an hour left. They're trading Suzuki Drury to the San Jose Sharks in exchange for Nunavara, a fourth and a fifth round pick. So a good prospect heading over. Incoming trade, two seconds for Ayafalo and Walker. Uh, not something I'm interested in. Going to decline. I want to keep those second round picks. We could have got Josh Norris for those two seconds. Uh, so I'm going to decline that. And the trade deadline has come and gone. Some big deals. The one coming out of Colorado as they acquired Tyler Bertuzzi and Sunquist in exchange for Gorgiev and Olison. That is the only big trade that really happened. Huge blockbuster there. So now we got some... Uh, waiver players here. John Hanley, 31 years old, has some X factors. Uh, not someone we're really interested in. Uh, so we're going to decline that real quick. And now, what I wanted to go do was make the moves where we bring up UPL and maybe even play Robertson up here. All right. So Bjork is now a full timer. Ryan Reeves is now on the team as well. Uh, middle stat's going to play up there. Skinner, I want up there. Defensively, uh, okay, and now let me see, is UPL up here? He is. So it's UPL and Eric Comrie uh, fighting for the crease. I guess they're not really fighting. I mean, this year's kind of shot. Defensively, let's look in the AHL. Is the defenseman that we picked up playing? He is not. I do definitely want to put him in. Um, where is he? Interesting. Hold on. Where is he? Let me go to the roster moves. Maybe he is scratched in the NHL. That's the only thing i could be thinking of right now uh he is all right so if that's the case i do definitely want to play him um so let's do that real quick we're going to take out clegg um and we are going to throw in robertson give him some time in the nhl see what he can do up here and uh looks good to me so we're going to continue the rest of the season hopefully lose a bunch of games and really secure uh what kind of pick we're getting here so we're going to go the rest of the month here uh, and see what's going. So we'll do head coach replaces there. That's the AHL. We're winning games. Eric Comrie's been injured. So we're going to have to call up a goaltender. Um, and that means we are going to see UPL play some games. So we're going to call up Malcolm Subban. We're going to edit our NHL lines here. And we are going to throw him in. UPL, has he played a game yet? He did. And he got a shutout in this. In, okay, two games he's played. He has a shutout. Interesting. Okay, good for him. Malcolm Subban will be the backup for the time being. And UPL kind of just uh, gets to do what he wants to do now. So that looks pretty good there. Uh, we'll do continue. We're going to have to continue here. And let's keep it going, all right? So let's continue to lose some games. But lose with dignity, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, all right. So Eric Comrie's back. You know what? Um, 
I kind of just want to sit him and let UPL just run with the crease. Uh, so no offense to Eric Comrie there, all right? So let's keep it going. It's been a piss poor month, which we are pretty happy with. I'm not gonna lie. So we are 31, 33, and 11. We are still in seventh. There's no way I can see the Canadians catching us. Um, so I think like we're gonna have. I don't know if we're gonna be in the top five for picks. So that's gonna be interesting there. Okay. So let's keep it going. Keep the losses coming. Vinny Hinestroza will be out for the rest of the season. Uh, not ideal, so we'll move up Ryan Reeves. Is anyone scratched up here? Uh, just defensemen. So we're going to have to call up a forward. So let's go do that real quick. Uh, who is going to finish the season with us? You know what? Let's call up Peyton Krebs. He's up to a 79. Or was he always 79? He might have always been 79. We'll call up Peyton Krebs. We're going to give him some playing time to end off the NHL season. And you know what? I am going to throw him onto that third line as well. So let's throw Peyton Krebs in here. Uh, he could play left wing, so we'll throw him on that left wing there. And uh, let's see what he can do playing with the big boys up in the NHL, all right? So let's continue simming here. 4-0 uh, loss, 9-2 loss. We're losing some big boy games, which isn't ideal. 5-2 loss, 4-0 win. Vinny Hinestroza is back. Um, and he went out. Okay, so we're above. We can just send down one of the players that are scratched. Um, who's on a two-way pew? We'll send him down. Oh, we can't. Okay, so who can we send down? It can't be Bjork. We got to send down someone. All right, hold on. Uh, let's just auto-fix the roster to end up the season anyways. Not a big deal. Bjork's now injured. We'll just do best lines for the last game of the season. And that is it. So we end off the season 34, 37, and 11. We are in seventh place. The Canadians actually almost did catch up to us. Um... So let's quickly just look at everyone's stats to end off the year here. Jeff Skinner ended up finishing the year with 78 points in 82 games, 39 goals, 39 assists. Olsen 66 and 82. Thompson 61 and 76. Tuck 51 and, and 82. A minus 22. Did not have a great year there. Um, goalies. Uh, UPL, 4, 5, and 3. 908 save percentage. That is A-OK -okay with me. Comrie went 8, 13, and 2. 907. And Subban won 5. And oh, with an 867, not great from him. Now, looking at the entire league here, how did everyone do? So who led in points and all that good stuff here, all right? So looking at points, no one had a 100-point season. Crosby finishes with 98, Kucherov with 93, McDavid with 93. Most goals, 52 with Malkin, 50 with OV, 50 with uh, Matthews, 50 with Kucherov, 49 with Miko Ranton. And now... Let's see where we finished off uh, in the entire NHL here. I'm um, actually very interested to see. So entire league uh, points, we finished in 25th. So not great, not great. Uh, we could potentially get a decent little pick, but 25th is where we ended up finishing off uh, the year. All right, so that's pretty much everything we want to see. We'll simulate through all the playoffs and uh and just kind of see what happens there right so the nhl season is complete we got uh some pretty decent playoff matches happening across the league so we're gonna sim to the draft and just kind of see uh who wins the cup who wins some sort of trophies and uh and then we will see uh next episode what's gonna happen come the draft so we're hoping for a decent little pick hopefully we can get a decent pick we just you just you just don't know so send in the entire playoffs let's see who is going to be the stanley cup champions for the 2022 oh my god it's the chicago blackhawks the chicago blackhawks have won the stanley cup um interesting so where are we ranked buffalo 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 we have the eighth overall pick all right so not ideal. We dropped the rank. We were supposed to get the seventh, and we dropped down to the eighth. New Jersey's getting a first round pick once again. Then it leads Anaheim, Montreal, Calgary, Los Angeles, Minnesota, San Jose, Arizona, and then Buffalo. So, do we try trading up? Do we have anyone that we can trade up? I, I don't know. So, let's look who retired first off. Uh, anyone from the Buffalo Sabres? No one. Um, Joe Thornton retired, Shea Weber, Kessler, Andrew Ladd, Tyler Bozak, Brent Seabrook, uh, some very, uh, 
you know, notable names there. So looking good here. We are going to continue simming, or let's view the draft class. Connor Bedard, obviously unknown for some reason, so we had some horrible drafting. Wow, that is crazy. Um, let's look at these gems here, right? So this guy's supposed to go fourth overall. This guy's supposed to go 48th. This guy's supposed to go eighth overall. Zachary Benson is uh, looks like who we're going to line up with. Uh, he is 18 years of age, 5'10", 158. He's a center. No strengths that they can really show there. Uh, okay. So we got Connor Bedard. We got Valesi. We got Punavivs. Uh, Jaeger. Benson, who's supposed to go 8th. If this guy drops, Jaeger. What are we looking here? 21 goals, 46 assists. Another centerman. How did Benson do? 20 goals, 31 assists. You know what? He doesn't look like a bad player. Someone that... You know, could be interesting to draft as well. We could use a center. Uh, but, man, New Jersey getting Connor Bedard is going to be great for them. So, congrats to them. We have Valisi here. P P man, some of these names are crazy. But, anyways, it looks like we're taking Benson. At least that's what it's looking like. He's projected to go eighth overall. Um, And then, yeah, that's pretty much it there. So, not too bad. Um. You know, next episode, we're going to hit the NHL draft, but we're going to do this quickly. So let's look at the awards. Stanley Cup going to the Chicago Blackhawks. President's Trophy going to the Stars. Clarence going to the Blackhawks. Prince of Wales going to Tampa. All right, those are all the team awards. Individual awards. Aros going to Crosby. Uh, the Hart going to Stamkos. The Norris going to Hedman. The Lady Bing going to ADB. Uh, Calder going to McTavish. Uh, Conn Smythe to Patty Kane. Vesna to Jake Ottinger. William, William M. Jennings going to Varlamov. Uh, Siegenthaler gets the Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy. The Jack Adams going to Pasquale. Uh, the Selkie going to Patrice Bergeron. Uh, Ted Lindsay going to Stamkos. Maurice Richard going to Malkin. Art Ross. And that's everything, all right? So I kind of want to just see the playoff tree here. What does Chicago do to win, all right? They won in seven against Colorado. They swept the Nashville Predators. They won in five against the... Jets and they won in five against the Lightning in the finals. That is absolutely crazy. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we hit the NHL entry draft, we hit free agency. And guys, let me know what we should do. Obviously, the eighth overall pick, we're probably picking that uh Bryson kid or whatever his last name was there. But come free agency, do we try to pick up players to? you know, try to ice a playoff winning team. Um, what do we do? Do we, you know, continue with the rebuild, have another bad year, maybe have one more bad year and see where we go after that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So let me know what we should do in the comment section below. And honestly, I think maybe we give it one more year. We go out in free agency, get some depth players, just, you know, players to ice onto the team and, uh, and go from there and let the rookies just play out and see how that happens. So, uh, let me know what we should do in the comment section down below. That is it for today's video. Next episode, we hit the NHL Entry Draft.